Hell out. So you're trying to be the next Hulk Cage, aka Ninja. I'm going to try to make this as basic as possible. This is deemed as one of the more difficult to melee classes. But with enough practice as anything else, I think you guys can get it down. I also want to mention that I stream every late PM on Twitch at just at 3. Let's get on with the video. Quick introduction to Ninja is that they're pretty much known as the Trick Attack Bot. Signing your Jutsus or Mudras in this game to execute specific Ninjutsus. Their combo is pretty simple, usually a 1-2-3 and another one to replenish your Futon. I'll talk about that in a bit. With a fair amount of global off global cooldowns. I would suggest this class to you if you want something a little bit more complicated than our current melee classes. Trick Attack pretty much increases the damage dealt, increases the target's damage taken by 5%. Remember to do this from the rear because you're going to do even more damage if you execute it from the rear. You can activate this on either the flank or the rear to pull this off and the additional effect will still go off, for example. So yeah, it says, as you can see it says rear, but I'm going to do it on the flank and it still goes off. Now, let's start out with the ninjutsus first. One of the mujos is called Ten, the other is called Chi, and the other is called Jin. This might take a little bit of practice, but each of them, in different combinations, form a different action. If you just do one mudra out of any of them, you'll get something called Fuma Shuriken, which is a single target ability. And then if you do different combinations, it will turn into Paton? Kat Katon, whatever. And the mudra combination for this is different. This one is basically your AoE ability. Looks like this. Raiton, which is another single target ability. This one you're going to be using most of the time. Unless your ping is really high. Then just do Fuma Shuriken. Which looks like this. Yotan, you won't use this version, but you're going to be memorizing this, which is similar to another combo. Which is uh, Hyosho. You pretty much are the same thing. But it gets buffed to Hyosho after Kasatsu, but I'll be mentioning that later. So Hyotun will look like this. Even binds them as well. You won't be using that as much. Uton, this is pretty much your bread and butter. So you're going to want to try to try to keep this up 100% of the time. This reduces your weapon and auto attacks. So this basically gives you more damage. So if you look at my top left, after I cast Hutan, this pinwheel starts to spin. 70 starts at 70 seconds, and this tells you if you have Hutan or not. Very important that you're paying attention to this. Dotan, pretty much your AoE, AoE dot, looks like this. Now, you're never going to use this during a single target fight, unless it's a pre-pull. Pre-pull as in the tank didn't pull them yet, and they're going to bring it into this circle right here. You could be doing other mudras that could increase your DPS other than this. But if there are two or more enemies, then I would suggest dropping this down. Especially if they're going to live a little bit longer. Suiton, which is going to help you do trick attack during combat. It's the only way to get trick attack during combat besides hide, but you can't cast hide during... Uh, on that so it look like this and then you see your trick attack go up so it's very important that you do suiton before your trick attack is going off cooldown so you can do the additional five percent damage now to do these last two mudras right you're going to be wanting to do kasatsu kasatsu pretty much increases your damage dealt for your next ninjutsu but specifically, it help, it buffs your Katon and Yosho at when you get to level 76. If you could start to your Katon, right? The Katon looked like this. 
But if you buff it, the Kasatsu will look like this. There's a lot more damage, pretty flashy. It has a lot of mujas. Alright, and then the Kasatsu for Yosho Ranryu is 1200 potency, so you were gonna want to do this most of the time. I mean, you get a chance. Make sure you memorize this one. This one's important for your single target as well. It'll look like this. Pretty cool shuriken ability. Remember that you want to try to memorize these mudras. It'll take a little bit of practice. Just keep doing them until you have it down to muscle memory. I suggest you put your mudras to where it could become a muscle memory for you. Now, we're going to be going over the off global cooldowns first off we're going to be talking about so first we're going to go over a dream within a dream so this one is a recast of 60 seconds which shares the recast with trick attack so you want to do trick attack right after your trick attack so you want to do dream within a dream after your trick attack all right so this is how it looks and then as you can see it activates assassinate which is another off global and you're going to activate this you're going to weave this in during your other abilities. Mug, which pretty much gives you this bar right here. This bar right here is what you use to cast uh, certain abilities later. I'll be showing this in a bit. And then you're going to be doing this when you can for that extra Ninki. Ninki gauge. This is Ninki gauge on the right, top right. Then when you have 50 Ninki, right? You're going to be using something called Bushin. Bushin is pretty much your, your clone. You watch Nero, you try to clone Jutsu, pretty sick. TLDR, this is pretty much going to increase your damage overall, so you want to pop this when you can to copy your abilities. And you want to be using this with uh, your heavy damaging skills. Ten Chi Jin, alright, so this one is a little tricky. This one is going to keep you in place. If you move, I'll show you how it looks when you move, it cancels it. And then you won't be able to cast that anymore. So you want to be careful when you cast TCG or Ten Chi Jin. You're not going to be wanting to move. But when you do, do it, want to do it correctly, hit TCG. You won't have to weave all the mudras. And then sequentially, it changes up what you're doing. To keep it short, the first, uh, since as you saw, the Fuma, the first one will always be Fuma. And depending on what you press next will be the two mudra ability and then the third mudra ability which is suiton or doton or huton even the two mudra abilities are huton rayton and katon most of the time when you're casting tcg to put it simply you're going to be wanting to do huma rayton into suiton the reason why i say that is because this has a 120 second cooldown and by the time this comes back, your trick attack will be back up and you're going to be wanting a sweet on to activate the trick attack. That's as simple as I could put it. I know it's a little complicated, but you, you'll get used to it as you're lining up the abilities. The other off global, Hellfrog Medium. Hellfrog Medium is going to be your AoE ability. You'll be casting this if there's three or more. And then Baba Kakra will be your go-to single target ability. When you have 50 Ninki, you're going to be casting this most of the time. You're going to have a long range ability, but you're going to be ignoring this most of the time. But if you are ever out of melee range, you're going to be throwing your daggers like this, like so. Now your last off global cooldown during battle will be something called Mesui. Mesui increases the Ninki gauge by 50, which gives you pretty much a Bava Kakra or a Hellfrog Medium. But you can only perform this after you do Suiton. As you can see, it lights up and gives you the Ninki. So you have to be careful when you use this ability. If your Trick Attack is about to come up, you're going to want to prioritize using Suiton on Trick Attack. If it's not... If Trick Attack isn't up yet, then yes, you care. you're you good to do Mesui because you're, it's going to give you more damage to do a Bava Kakra, Off Global, or Hell Frog. Now to close the gap, Yacht Closer is called 
Kikuchi? Kikuchi? Something like that. And then pretty much I suggest putting this on the keybind and then you have to click where you want to place your cell. Like so. It's good, it's good. It's nice that you can choose where to put it, but from personal experience, I'd rather just have a dash in, but it's a lot more free than the other classes since you can choose where you want to go. Now, I'll be going over the combos. The combos are very simple. The AoE combo, start out with Death Blossom. And then you're going to be doing Hake Mujin Satsu. If I butcher this, I'm sorry, I don't really know. <laughs> Your 1, 2, 3 combo, Spinning Edge. Into Gust Slash. Into Ireland Edge. This will be on the rear. And the other combo, you're going to be doing Spinning Edge and Gust Slash again. But this time you're going to be doing Armored Crush, which has to be done on the flank. So let me get my Hutan up. As you can see, 68 seconds. And then I'm going to do the Armored Crush combo to increase it back to 70. So to keep a mental note, this gives 30 seconds to your Futon duration. So I suggest doing this combo if you're about to drop. Preferably around 6 to 30 seconds left on your Futon, then I would suggest doing that. And then your Shadow Fang is not a combo. So you're going to be wanting to put this move after your trick attack, alright? As always, for every melee, you're going to want to pop two north if you're out of position and you want to hit uh, a spot that you can't reach to maximize your potency. And I will be showing you guys how the opener for Ninja looks. rundown of ninja of what you want to prioritize in your hands you're going to be wanting to focus if you can do some mudras okay if your trick attack is about to come up you're going to be wanting to put this up asap and you're going to be doing shadow fang dream within the dream assassinate behind your trick attack tcg and chijin if it's up and then your single target combo for in tcg will always be fuma into raitong into Suiton. And then make sure you pop your off globals during your trick attack or whatever is up. And your dot, as I mentioned earlier. A lot of this class is going to rely on you to put it under your trick attack. Since it does increase your damage by a lot. Well, not a lot, 5%, but it does increase over time. This drop can be a little bit complicated, but once you start weaving in those mudras and getting off the, all those off globals especially giving crit check attack to the whole raid can be very satisfying hope you guys enjoyed and if you guys and if you guys have any more questions please leave a com comment below and i'll see you guys later peace